Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. For this one we're going to continue on with the Scottish Beer Month that I've been doing for you and obviously as I explained the idea behind this is that I want to introduce those of you who watch my reviews from various different countries, I want to introduce you guys to some of the really awesome small breweries that we have here in Scotland. So for this video, the second in the series, we are going to visit the Kelburn Brewery who come to you from Barhead over by Glasgow, that's East Renfrewshire I'm pretty sure and we're going to have a taste of the beer called Tartan Army named after the Scotland football fans of course who have a very good international reputation this guy is a blonde ale or golden ale however you want to describe it and I've heard it's very nice but this is as I say this is my very first encounter with the Kelburn Brewery I hadn't heard of them until very recently when I started stockpiling beers to do in this review series but as is usual then with my beer reviews I'll take you through a brief history of the brewery it is very short for this one but if you don't want to stick with me for that just fast forward a few minutes into the video and you'll get straight to the tasting. The brewery website's in the video description for you below, so check that out if you're interested. And there is a link there to my future reviews that I will do from the Kelburn Brewery. Hopefully, I will be able to do some more once I come back from my travels. So anyway, the Kelburn Brewery was established in 2001 by Derek Moore in Barhead, East Renfrewshire, Scotland, and it is over on the west coast near Glasgow. But the brewery commenced brewing in April of 2002, and it's largely a family-run operation. But Derek's inspiration for starting his own brewery was that he felt there was a real lack of quality ales in Scotland at that time, and he actually started off as a home brewer, and he put his scientific background into good use. And in the early days, he was greatly assisted by the brewers at Strathalban Brewery, and he also joined the Campaign for Real Ale Camera, which is quite a popular thing over here for kind of craft, uh, craft beer people. And he also formed the East Renfrewshire branch of this organisation in 1991. And he, was also, he also helped form the Houston Brewery in 1997, where his son Ross is the, uh, is the head brewer, actually. So he comes, Derek Moore, I guess, is kind of one of the kind of passionate, really passionate Scottish brewers, if you like. So that's your very sort of short history of the brewery. Quite an interesting one that it's a family run operation this is the case with a few of the little Scottish breweries that are popping up over the last little while and hopefully I can actually get some more of these beers in the future to try for you but just to list the other guys you can get from this or the other beers you can get from this brewery actually you get the Gold Hops, Pivo Estivo, Misty Law, Red Smitty, Jaguar, Dark Moor, carte noir and carte blanche as well and obviously you have this one the tartan army here which as i said to you is named after the scottish football support and uh, apart as i said to you the scottish football support has a very good international reputation uh, much better than the english one i should point out with me being scottish uh, the english are, have, don't have a very good reputation in terms of their football support worldwide but scottish people are supposed to be very friendly and in honesty, it's probably just because they're so drunk half the time that they're just very friendly to everybody. So I'll bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the uh, at the artwork on this one just briefly, as I always do with my reviews. It's quite nicely presented, as you can see. It has the blue and white, which is typical of the Scottish flag there. You can see at the side, this is the, uh, the Tartan Army... Uh, Sunshine Appeal, as, as I said, this kind of goes... It's a charity organisation that they do to uh, sort of... Uh, it's, it's kind of it supports underprivileged children and stuff I guess throughout the world it has a little bit on the side of the bottle here and it says Kel the Kelburn Brewing Company is an independent family business located in the west of Scotland it's dedicated to the production of quality ales using traditional brewing skills only the finest ingredients are used in the production process it says Tartan Army a straw coloured ale with a light biscuity background like the Tartan Army this refreshing session ale is easy going and has plenty of zest Kelburn is proud to support the Tartan Army and has pledged to 10p to the Sunshine Appeal for every bottle sold. So quite cool that they support the charities in this way. There is a little bit about the the address in here. It's 10 Muriel Lane, Barhead in Scotland, and it has a wee phone number and stuff there. But as I say, this beer is quite nicely presented. It has a plain bottle cap on it there. So we'll get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting here. So on the Richter scale, this guy is 4.3%, so it's quite a light gold nail. But let's get it out and we'll get on with the tasting here. So as you can see, quite a nice smoky opening on this one here. We'll get it out and into the glass. Incidentally, the thing that kind of inspired me to do this sort of craft beer 
uh, Scottish Beer Month, if you like, was the fact that Lidl, uh, or Aldi, sorry, started doing, they were selling Scottish beers, and it really, can, I just thought, well, it'd be cool to kind of do this and sort of raise awareness of some of the smaller breweries in Scotland. I mean, all of you will probably have heard of Brewdog and uh, Harveston and stuff like that, but then you've got breweries like this who are producing very good ales, but don't quite have the same publicity yet. So hopefully I can have a very small, uh, or albeit hopefully effective, helping hand in helping these guys get some international uh, kind of recognition if you like so as you can see I'm just going to pour the rest of it in in a minute but you can see this beer is poured a absolutely kind of crystal clear pale golden straw colour actually it looks really really nice you can see just uh, there's kind of a steady stream of carbonation just going up to the top here it had a solid half finger of white head so let's give it a smell it looks it's that's one of the clearest beers I've ever seen actually I should say that it really looks beautiful so in terms of the mouthfeel Sorry, the, I'm saying the mouthfeel, the aroma. It's got a really, you can pick up that really biscuity malt from this one. I can see what they're saying in the aro uh, about that on the, the bottle. It's a very biscuity malt aroma you're getting from this one. There's a lot of kind of grassy and sweet character to it as well. A lot of citrusy lemon, I would say. But mainly biscuity malt, citrusy lemon, they're the two most prominent components. But there's a little bit of caramel in the background there as well, so that's really what the kind of blended aroma you're getting from this guy is. But it's got a good bit of grassy character as well, I should point out. But a really nice mix of biscuity and caramel malt, some nice citrus in there too, and a, a little bit of grassy aroma. But the main component, I think, is definitely that kind of balance between the, uh, the caramel and the, uh, the biscuity malt. So let's just get this guy out and we'll sort that out. Maybe a little bit of sediment came out. Nah, not that I see. It's still crystal clear. Absolutely beautiful looking beer. So let's give this guy a taste and see how we get on. Just check that that's still in line so you can see. So here we are. This is the Tartan Army beer from the Kelburn Brewery. This is review number two in the Scottish Beer Month that I'm doing for you. Hopefully uh, this is another good one. Cheers. Hmm. It's got that... It's really nice in that sense that it has the, the biscuity malt. I do enjoy when you have a nice kind of bready and biscuity malt. And that's exactly, you know, it says on the bottle that's exactly what they're going for. And, and they've done it just, it's a very kind of uh, sudden thing to say when you first tried it. But that's the very first impression. A very biscuity malt golden ale. But similar, the taste of this one is very similar to the aroma. It definitely has a nice sort of uh, bready and caramel uh, flavour to it, this one. You're getting just that little kind of nice, sweet, almost cookie-like biscuity aroma just at the back of the tongue there. And there's the sweeter caramel that just goes right up the middle. It does have just a little bit of uh, kind of aromatic -y character, but not so much, actually. It's mainly the kind of biscuity and sweet caramel malt like I'm saying you've got a nice little bit of citrus that just goes around the edge of the tongue as well and that keeps it it makes it quite fresh but yeah I mean the thing is this beer I would say is really quite simple but it does it very very well the flavours blend very well together the biscuity malt and caramel malts just they, they, they blend almost seamlessly and that's what you really want you've just got this really nice kind of edge to it but then it's balanced out by this really nice kind of citricky and grassy hop character the malts and the the hops just balance each other perfectly in this beer in my opinion i do enjoy a good golden ale actually and the hop character as you can take a few more sips of this one definitely kind of builds in prominence it starts to get a little bit more of that dry kind of citricky grassy character coming out when you first take it in the very first taste of it that you get it is very very malty and then the hop character seems to build as your sort of mouth just adjusts to the taste of this one but yeah a nice bready and biscuity malt and it's, as I say, there's a nice underlying of caramel in this one. The most prominent component in the malt is definitely that sort of cookie, biscuity malt. And it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, the citrus character in it's really nice as well. The lemony 
sort of lemony kind of citrus in it there is really really nice. The lemon isn't too sharp, it just blends very well with the grassy character in the beer. But it starts to just, it just gives it that balance and it it's just it just goes very seamlessly together. That's all I can say about this beer is the the components of the flavour blend together very very well, and that's one of the hardest things to get with a beer, I believe, is to get the flavours to blend together really well like that. It's quite simple in the fact that it doesn't have too many components to the flavour, but the ones it does have brew very well, and that's what the strength of this beer is, in my opinion. But yeah, in the aftertaste the kind of malt profile starts to build again so you get the biscuity and ca the biscuity malt and the caramel just coming out a little bit more but you do have a bit of the kind of citrusy and grassy freshness or just sticking around on the edge of the palate there on the edge of the tongue so I mean overall this is a very very beautifully balanced beer in terms of the flavour the mouthfeel of this one it's definitely a light bodied one the carbonation is quite moderate it actually aids <coughs> <Pardon>. <coughs> pardon me, the grassy and the citric character in this one, it really does blend it together very well, like I've said numerous times in this uh, on this video, and the bitterness just kind of builds a little bit as you start to go through it, so overall, this is a really beautiful beer that I do recommend you get. You give a try. You have a try of if you get the chance. I'm not sure how widely distributed this one is. It was quite widely distributed throughout Scotland quite recently with the sort of Aldi Scottish Beer Festival thing, and that's where I got it, and also where I got the idea to do this series of beer reviews. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. This is one I would say you definitely need to try. People who are fans of this brewery, I've spoken to a couple of people about it. And they told me that this isn't the best one in their range. But what I will say about it, I can't really comment on that because I've not tried the other ones. What I will say about this one is it's a remarkably simple beer, but it does what it wants to do very, very well. And it blends together beautifully. It has a really nice flavour and it's quite a sessionable one that would be good for a summer's day. So if you want a sessionable sort of craft beer and you're in the sort of west coast of Scotland, this is definitely one that would fit the bill. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review, and uh, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. I hope you're enjoying the Scottish Beer Month that I'm doing for you, and uh, please, I hope you've. I just hope you've enjoyed this review. Comment in the section below. Let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you soon with more Scottish beer reviews. Cheers.